Hey, Shalom. Shahu. Man, I'm so excited. My name is Austin, by the way. It's fall feast time. It's what? Man, it's time for the fall feast. The day of blowing, man, is right around the corner. A whole day dedicated to blowing balloons? No, no, the day of blowing. Blowing bubbles? No, blowing trumpets. Man, I love crumpets. No, we celebrate Yom Teruah, a day of shouting and celebrating by blowing trumpets. Oh, why didn't you say that? I know what that is. That's one of Yah's appointed feast days, the Feast of Trumpets, or Yom Teruah. It's a biblical festival observed on the first day of the seventh month, marked by the blowing of trumpets, shofars, a sacred assembly. It's a memorial for Israel. Why didn't you? Now, never mind. I'm going to go get a trumpet. Okay. Bye. Man, I got to get some crumpets. Yahuwah, we love you. Yahuwah, we need you. You are. Yahuwah, we adore you. Hey, welcome to the Shofar Center. My name is... Mike? Yeah! How did you know that? Are you a prophet or... No, I just... Never mind. I'm here to buy a trumpet. Oh, no, we, we only sell so far. Yeah. Exactly. I need a trumpet. No, we don't have those. Trumpets are shofars. All shofars are trumpets, but not all trumpets are shofars. Why are you like this? Y'all made me this way. Just give me a shofar. Gotcha. Let me ring you up. Thank you. What you reading? Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm reading my sefer. It's my first time keeping Yom through it, so I'm just trying to learn more about the feast, you know, day of blowing. Oh, that's easy. Like, you know anything about Feast of Trumpets. Of course. Who doesn't? It's a memorial unto Yah, and it says in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 23 through 24, and Yah spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe a solemn rest, a memorial proclaimed with trumpet blast, a holy convocation. You shall not do any work, and you shall present food offering unto Yah. Uh, um, okay. Um, easy peasy. Uh, since you're so smart, uh, in the verse, it says memorial. What are we remembering? We blow to remember Yah, his deliverance of Israel, his law, and for him to remember us. What are you talking about? It's a memorial. The first time we see Israel made to keep a memorial is for Yah's sacred name. That's Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. The second time is Passover. Exodus chapter 12, verse 14. Oh, okay. And the third time is to remember his deliverance. Exodus chapter 13, verse 9. Israel would have remembered Duh, that these trumpet blasts with Sinai where the law was given, remember? Remember what? Come on, man, you know this. Remember, he said, there shall not be a hand to touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through, whether beast or man. It shall not be when the trumpet soundeth long. No, I ring any bells. That's just 1916. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there was thunder and lightning and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exacting the sound, exceeding loud. So all the people that was in the camp trembled? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. How do you forget about that? I don't know, man. This generation. What about this one? This is 1919. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Mo Moshe spoke unto Yah and he answered him by voice. Huh? Exodus 20. 18, and the people of Israel saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain and the people saw it and they were moved and stood far off. Come on, man. No? Not ringing any bells? Look, there's plenty of things to think about with trumpets. Man, it should wake us up and remind us. It should also have us look forward to Messiah or who should come in. 
Like, there's it's, it's a lot of cool things, but that's just the rem memorial part that I think about, you know? I, I, I'm learning, I'm learning. Ah, it's nice. Well, I'm glad we could, you know, we could go back and forth, man. So you paying cash or card? I'll pay cash. Thank you again for staying to the end. We really appreciate you being a part of 144 Kids. If you'd like to support this ministry, check out the link below in our bio or send us an email at 144kidsministry at gmail.com and we'll gladly show you how you can support us, whether it be in these videos or our online Shabbat study. We really appreciate you being a part.